course Stacy will blow up in 2020. I think it's no doubt that poor Stacy has the potential to be a superstar. He's kind of like X in a way because he's super motivational, he's really positive even though some of the messages in his songs may not be, he just kind of shows the time in his life just like X did. And yeah, poor Stacy can be considered an emo rapper but he's not. And if you followed closely to his manager Taz Taylor, he's obviously hinted a lot towards poor Stacy moving down a more alternative type route and I'm excited for it. Poor Stacy has an album releasing sometime early 2020 called Broken Kids Club. This album was first hinted at in his makeup music video in the description, he actually pinned a comment for it. Poor Stacy has been with Internet Money for about a year now and he's released around 6 to 7 songs. Each song has accumulated about a million views on SoundCloud, not counting streaming services. Poor Stacy released his debut EP I Don't Care earlier in September and it's been doing pretty good. He also got himself a feature on Ian Dior's album with his song Yourself. It was obvious that these two would definitely feature though because they're both being produced and they were both signed to the Internet Money Records label. They are also a part of 10k Projects, a part of the joint venture collaboration that 10k Projects and Internet Money are doing together. We've been hinted that poor Sissy has features with artists like Trevor Daniel and his biggest Trippy Red, but I don't even think he needs these features to blow up. All he needs is just a good audience to hear his songs and that's what's gonna take him off. I don't think a viral TikTok song would do that good for poor Stacy like it has with other artists kind of like Lil Nas X and Trevor Daniels though. Poor Stacy is going to get a genuine fan base that he is going to grow from the ground up and it's going to be amazing. I personally think he gets overshadowed a lot by the rest of the internet money artists that have been signed recently or at least were signed and it's just kind of sad to see. Within Poor Stacy's time of being signed internet money, he's only dropped 7 songs and 1 music video. Granted, he has said that he has a music video with Ian Dior coming out very soon and while I'm sure that's true, it's just, why is poor Stacy not getting the right recognition? Ian Dior already had a debut EP and an album, plus music videos and a Gunna feature, a Trippy Red feature, and much more within his first year being signed internet money. It just doesn't really make sense to me why Ian Dior is getting this treatment. It's kind of like they wanted to take Ian down the emo rapper route, and then as that's starting to fade away, Taz jumped really quick to kind of move Ian down a more popish style route. Which I'm not hating on him at all for this, I think it's good to try and give Ian Dior the best longevity that he can, and out of everyone, Taz is one of the best people to do this. He knows what he's doing in the music industry, and that's no doubt. And I know that Taz and fans have stated in the past that the reason poor Stacy hasn't dropped an album or is just kind of inconsistent with music is because he always changes how he wants his music to sound. Taz said when he first signed poor Stacy, he wanted to go down an emo route like Ian, and that's why they made songs like Makeup and Hollow, and then Taz said that Stacy wanted to move down a more anti-pop route, and that's when we got songs kind of like Help, and now he said that poor Stacy wants to go down an alternative rock route, which is where we kind of got yourself from. And the snippet for poor Stacy's new song dropping in 2020 with Ian Dior, I Can't Sleep, definitely gives me an alternative slash rap type sound. I don't know how long I'll live. With Internet Money's powerhouse pushing poor Stacy and him having a, another Ian Dior feature and probably bigger ones coming down the way, along with poor Stacy touring with Landon Cube and Ian Dior, I think it's no doubt that poor Stacy will blow up in 2020.